How you doing, Wrinkles? I am doing so, 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 so good. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. Yes, indeed. It's good to see Jim here. It's good to be here. He was hearing voices. <laughs> hearing voices? Yep, yep. This was some time ago. He had to go to the doctor. He said, Doc, I keep hearing voices. The doctor says, really? He says, have you thought about seeing a psychiatrist? He said, no, Doc, you're the only one I trust. I said, okay, all right. So what are you hearing? He says, well, it seems to be coming from my leg. <laughs> doctor said, what? So he takes a stethoscope out. He listens to Jim's knee. He says, hey, Doc, can you lend me $5? <laughs> says, That's weird. So he knew, knew that to his thigh, and he says, hey, Doc, can you, can you lend me $10? And then he put it down on his shin bone, and it said, hey, Doc, can you lend me $20? The doctor says, well, Jim, he says, your leg's broke in three places. Sure enough, well, you know, <laughs> the children's Bible story today is about the fact that Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. Yep, 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 that's a good verse. I like that verse. The fact that God talks to us, he does talk to us. Now, he doesn't very often talk in, the, in an audible voice, but he speaks to our heart. Sometimes he'll give you an idea of something. He'll just put something in your head or in your heart. He'll say, hey, I want you to go go be kind to this person. I want you to say a nice word or a kind word or, or I want you to go share me with this person. And we need to be listening for his voice. And the more we listen to it, the more we'll get used to it. You know, when, when uh, Evelyn and I first got married, um, I had to make sure she knew it was me when I come in the house or she'd shoot me. Um, <laughs> now she knows my voice. When I, when I speak, she does. That's awesome. It is awesome. You know, I went into a Mexican restaurant one day, and, and this lady comes over, this waitress comes over, and she brought me some tortilla chips and salsa and a menu and a glass of water. And she walked away, and I was looking over the menu, and all of a sudden I, I heard, man, you sure are a good dog. I'm looking around trying to figure out what in the world is that. And then I heard, yep, you're a good boy. So I started looking around even more. And it said, hey, I like those dead older halls. I could not figure it out, and I was pretty confused. And the waitress came back and said, you look confused. Is there something wrong? I said, yeah, I keep hearing voices. She said, oh, that's the chips. The chips? The chips. She said, they are complimentary. I don't recommend listening to your leg with a stethoscope or listening to the bag of chips at home. But I do recommend that you listen for Jesus. And he not only speaks to us in our hearts, but he also speaks to us through his word, through our teachers and preachers, through our parents. And so it's good to listen and ask God to speak to us and make it clear that it's him who's speaking. Amen. Amen. All right. Let's see. Brother Ernie, would you bless the children today before we send them back for their memory verses? Thank you. Our Heavenly Father, we come before you with sad hearts today because we know that there are people who are hurting that we can do nothing about. It has to be you. So take care of these children. Give them a good understanding of your word. We'd be very careful, Lord, to give you all the praise and all the glory. In your son Jesus' name, amen. 